start recording. There we go. I can actually start a recording while I'm streaming, so that's what I'm gonna do. Also, I realized I just started this video by saying I can start a recording while I'm live streaming, and that's what I'm gonna do, so. Here we go. Okay, so, hello everyone who's tuning in from, from YouTube, from just this part, which is basically just a cutout of my stream. Um, so apparently this happened, and I didn't know about it until it's 7.36 p.m., and apparently it was there all day, but nobody told me. Uh, or I just don't bother to read. But, um, here we go. There, apparently there's gonna be, uh, the level cap's gonna be increased for 6 stars, up to 200, uh, level 200. So, here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what, see what all it says and try to break down. Um, uh, we plan to implement a new system to allow fully powered up 6 star characters, to be strengthened even further. Once a 6 star character has been powered up to maximum level and 100% of their soul tree, a new release option will become available. Uh, releasing characters will open up new nodes in the soul tree to release their level cap to 200. Releasing a character in this way will then power them up and require special new items. Oh wow, special new items. I wonder if it'll require uh, like like what what uh like what fusing material it is for accessories you know how you, you require the fusion powders and the books maybe this will require something similar to that that will be added that's that would be explain why they added the new items and why they categorize them as items and not accessories they can probably be planning to have like a new like during the the powder like the powder fusion events the co-op events maybe they'll add a new item in there that can also drop so you can basically max out Six stars. Well, this, it could also mean that six stars are getting new abilities. <laughs> People are on, on chat. Hi, YouTube. Um, it could also mean that they're getting new abilities to maybe try and get certain characters stronger, which would be awesome because then it, you could have like the Kenny effect that happened uh, when six stars came out where Kenny just suddenly became a beast in PvP. Maybe they can power up like, say, like OG Biakuya or the original Aizen who was good at PvP, then 6 stars came out, then he got crap, and then, you know, he might, at 200, getting new abilities. It doesn't say anything about that, but if it happens, then maybe, just maybe, uh, we can get some older characters to be good again. Uh, make Brave Souls characters great again. Okay, and the game video recording. Okay, so we knew this was coming out, the um, record play sessions and share them online. I will be making a video on this. I will actually... I thought about this already. I'll actually record a uh, gameplay like this and see how it goes. In fact, there's a very good chance that I have a, a series that I started this week, or I guess last week, that I'm going to be making another one later this week called The Review, where I review certain characters. This might be how I do that. This might be how I end up recording that series, which would be great. But um, I, I, I don't know what that would mean for my live stream. I'm still going to make my live streams like this, but I don't know how it's going to be. Let's see. Uh, smooth request retry transition. Okay, up till now, tapping the retry button uh, on the result screen. The <coughs> on the result screen at the end of the quest would send you back to the re to the quest detail screen after the update. You will now be taken to a prepare uh, quest screen. The top friend and the top friend uh, select ally list will automatically be selected, making the qu oh man, this is gonna be awesome. I'm so tired of having to. It's basically. As soon as I hit retry, I have to hit the same buttons over and over again. It's so annoying. It's going to be so useful because you can just hit retry and then hit play again and then you're done. It's going to be, it's going to make my playing at work so much more efficient. <laughs> I used to play this game a lot at work in my pocket, uh, but I, I haven't done that in a while. But who knows, you know, who knows. Plan future updates, co-op rooms, owners, co oh, you would think this would come sooner. Uh, room owners will get an extra reward for completing co-op quests. I would have hoped that would have been now, but yeah, whatever. Uh, away from keyboard co-op players. And we know what this is. I don't know, I'm not even gonna read it, but it's basically, uh, if a person isn't playing, you can basically kick them, which, yes, everybody wants that. Thank you, finally. <laughs> Man, that the amount of times I've done that, I've seen that, I mean, and I wanted to kick them. In fact, I, I actually am guilty of it today, but I had a good reason for it, and check out my previous video. If, you haven't seen that but but yeah it says it's coming later in may and i obviously i'm more excited most excited about the 4.5 update it's gonna be a big game changer and i'm gonna have to do a whole lot of grinding also 
I can't wait to see how many orbs we get for capping the level at uh, 200. But dang, I've got to be quicker about my news because this video should have been out a long time ago. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this news update. I will now continue my stream and I'll have to read up on chat because I missed it during this time. Thank you guys for watching and recording over.